hollow. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah, all of them are kind of hollow. What's going on, people? It's like those Mexican cookies. We're back. Yeah, uh, are hollow. I'm back anyway. You guys did an episode last week that got uploaded yesterday. Right. <laughs> yeah, we always been here. <laughs> the whole time. Holding it down. Holding it down. P.O.P. Um, you want to open that story? Holding it down. This is, is, this, a, this is our first, yeah. What? Our first official October episode. So I figured, that's why I, I have this article here. Oh, open the article? The article I sent you. Did you have a picture for me? Yes, I did. I never got it. You haven't gotten it? Mm-hmm. God damn it. Just kidding. Oh. I just never saw it. Yeah. So technically, you never got it. Yeah. It's the creepiest urban legends. Mexican from folklore? Every. Is it like the Chupacabra? From every state. And the Loch Ness Monster. Oh, the American. I don't know why I saw me. And, uh, Dude, did you guys really quick? Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to start the show on a downer, but I'm kind of gonna start the show on a downer. Oh my god! That Are we Vegas, talk about Vegas. Yeah, that Vegas shit, man. I know it's crazy. That was happening like, probably like right when we were doing the show, huh? Last week or yeah, yeah. Yeah, by the way. Yeah. Hey, cause I was at work. That was it was, it was during still, the day. Huh? It was a, no, it happens it Sunday night during yeah, the concert. Yeah, it was at night. So when we were we were getting dinner. Yeah. Yeah. The night. Um, when we were at Korean barbecue. Cause mm-hmm. I was at work. When, I had, when, I, when the shit went down and uh, I heard about it and I was like what the fuck because I kept seeing like oh all these all like uh, like everywhere was just like uh, prayers for Vegas prayers for Vegas I was like what the fuck happened like it's bad if people are praying for Vegas <laughs> 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 yeah <laughs> so I looked it up and then I oh dude that fucking that video I haven't like, really watched it I just heard it little... the video's fucking intense dude I don't, like, I don't know if I watch it like you don't really see anyone going down uh, you, you, you actually you kind There's of the sound did. of it. Ten seconds full, just ten full seconds of just. Brrr, no, not even, not even, just straight, just no. straight fire. Yeah. It sound, it sounded fully automatic, but it's not. No, it was uh, yeah, it's from a buttstock. It, it Ars fifteen, and the, it's yeah, a modified buttstock that make yeah, it it's that, uh, full auto. We but were the, like, but the amount of fire that we. You think that, they? They say that. You just say shit like that till I get like. No, I mean, I, no, I, like, I mean, I know, you know there's shit like that exists. I know, I know that, but I'm saying like, um, they always say it's. They always got to say what the hell kind of gun it is. Yeah. Like exactly what and why. Yeah, and, and then, I mean, um, a lot of that but, is. But like when when they say it, for some reason, that, like when the AR-15, when when that was what the Sandy Hook was that the Sandy Hook the AR-15 yeah, was, yeah. was that Sandy Hook yeah that was Sandy Hook. When they made a big deal as AR-15s, the sales of AR-15s went to the roof. They yeah. Can't make well, you, you, yeah, you know why AR-15s. though, right? Because they're like, oh shit, they're gonna ban AR-15s. Let's buy a bunch of AR-15s That's before they start. Yeah. With this butt stock or whatever. Oh yeah. They gotta say what it is. You think they do it on purpose now, just to like? I think they do it on purpose. Not yeah. To, to, the, to like, it's a lot of fear mongering. That's a lot of the, a lot of it is. Like the thing is is. And Most then they people said don't how many know about guns, guns. Did he had. He had a shitload of guns. He yeah. had like he had like thirty four guns or some shit like that. Oh, no, twenty one guns in his room. Something like that. Twenty four guns. I don't understand how one person could kill could hurt five hundred. Dude, we, well, see, that's why initially, because when we were watching it, like, it was, it's me, and, I, like, most of the guys I work with are former military. Are there injuries related to tramplings as well? That's, what, that's the thing as, I'm wondering. They, 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 there's no way they, he got 500 rounds down. Like, even if he, like, and there's no way he hit 500 people. Yeah. You know what I mean? There has to be from trampling and from, like, other uh, other injuries. Um, and, uh, he killed 50. He killed 50. Yeah, but, yeah but that's probably, especially from the, from the angle that he was at. Uh-huh. That's possible. But originally, five hundred and something injured. Mm-hmm. When we first heard about it, I think that's just from the panic and everything, like yeah. you said, the trampling. Like, cause, uh, it was Monday morning when I left work at six a.m. It was thirty people injured and two hundred. Oh no, I'm sorry, thirty killed, uh, two hundred injured. And we were because th- we were talking about it before they released what kind of weapons he had, anything like that. Uh, we were thinking maybe he had a. Um, an M249 or an M60, which is, you know, the ones... Like, like, a, like a machine gun. Like a machine gun with a, like yeah. a belt fed. Like, I'm really because, like, because, like, an, uh, uh, um, like... Um, but he has just several guns ready loaded. Yeah, so that's why it was so quick. Because, like, cause we so were... he was, like, fucking Mel Gibson and, um... And, um... Is that movie? Mel Gibson. <laughs> Mel Gibson and... <laughs> Mel Gibson. <laughs> what, what is what? You remember those Tomahawk at the dude? Oh shit! Um, yeah. 
<laughs> what movie is that? Oh god, yeah, I know what you're talking Patriot. about. Patriot. Yeah. Patriot. Mm-hmm. When, when he has several guns loaded, loaded and he it, yeah. Them over they just picks them all up, yeah. Over here. Yeah. But see, and that's why, because we were thinking, because like an M249 or, or an M60 would be belt fed. It would be easy. Like, okay, because he was staying there. He checked in on Wednesday. And this all went down Sunday night. So it would have been easy to, like, okay, one M249 in his fucking luggage. Yeah, have it disassembled and the, just yeah, put it together when put, he gets to yeah, the hotel. But, yeah, and then, like, but and because a shitload of shit. Yeah, because it was what it was three different bursts. The, uh, but so the way we the way we figured is okay, about uh, one belt, ten seconds worth of fire, and that's why that's why because like, if you notice there's a there's a, a good gap between each burst, uh-huh. and that's what because if it, it was, that we figured okay if it was a magazine loaded weapon it was drop the mag you know you would drop mag and reload pretty quickly it would only be like a five second not even if even that a five second fucking reload. But hold up. Do the bullets sound like they're coming from different ranges? Yeah, but that's because of the echo. That's that's dude. You can be on a range and it sounds like they're coming from everywhere. You can like everyone's lined up next to each other and it still sounds like it's yeah, coming from everywhere. Yeah, but it's only one door. guy. I know that, but I'm just saying. But if only one guy's shooting on the range, can you tell where it's coming? From? Kind of, but it still but it's does still, it sound like different ranges? It still sounds echo. It echoes it, 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 because you hear more than like. There, no, but there's they're, they're saying that there's not an echo because you'll hear like six shots. And then you'll hear hear eight shots that sound from a different location. A different, yeah, a different. Range. But it could also because different the different different weapons sound. Uh, yeah, different. but but they're too close together to be, and and it doesn't make sense for him to have to stop shooting and go get a different gun because it's only like a couple rounds. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. It doesn't make sense for him to be like, okay, this one's done, and then go get another one. Yeah. And only shoot a couple rounds of that one, and then go back to the other. Like. Yeah, good point. I don't know. I I, I did hear because I I did see a video that was showing. And to me, it looks like a reflection or something because they, they didn't find any more broken windows. But supposedly on the twelfth floor, there was someone else shooting as well. No, yeah, yeah I'm a, that's what I hear. But they say that the broken windows. I mean, it happens all the time. They say there's the wind. Yeah, but they didn't find any more broken windows. I'm saying. What? They found the one on the thirty-second floor, the one that he broke to shoot at people. Uh-huh. But there's no other broken windows. Mm-hmm. So I mean, where else was somebody shooting from? Because they're saying they're, they're like the video I saw. It's the same. It's a Mandalay Bay. It's that fucking, uh, the, 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 the wall that he's shooting from, like that section of the wall. Right. And like below where he's at, you can see flashes that look like gunfire. Like, mu- it looks like muzzle flashes. Yeah. But there's no other broken windows. So how the fuck is somebody shooting, like, you know, you can't open those windows. Yeah, I know that. So. Uh, but, I mean, it's crazy. Like, like, again, we were thinking, like again, with that 249, we were saying, it, it from him shooting above like that, it was, be- it's more of a, Either way, I think it was more of a... Because a, a crowd that densely packed... You know I mean, yeah, he might have been taken out pretty quick. But he could have killed a lot more people if he would have done street level. You know what I mean? Especially with the, oh, kind, yeah. of, with the kind of hardware he was carrying. He would just... It would have been a sweet, uh, street sweeper. He would have just went side to side. And that row of people would have fallen. And the next round, fucking that row of people. All he would have do was... Like, he, he could have carried four, four rifles with him, really. But then he would have got caught coming up to... You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's kind of fucked up the way the way I mean, fucking sixty people. That's a shit ton of people, man. That's a shit ton of people. Then all the people that were injured. And you hear about fucking uh, your twin? Who's my twin? Fucking Dan Blazarian. That's not my twin. <laughs> you heard about that bullshit? Mm-hmm. That he was there? I don't know. I, I just heard like different sides of the story, but I don't know what exactly. Supposedly, what? Because I, I saw the video. And, like, he's there. He's like, oh, I saw this girl just get shot in the fucking face. Then he, like, runs away. Yeah. He runs away with the crowd, which, okay, I don't blame him. Run yeah. the fuck away with the crowd. But then he goes and gets a gun and comes back like he's going to do something. Yeah. Like, what are you going to do? By the time... Okay, first of all... Yeah, okay, the cops are already... Yeah, the cops are there. You know what I mean? So you're running away. And then by the time you get there and come back, what do you think you're going to do? Like, that's just... All, all that is is just so I can say, oh, I wanted to do something. You know what I mean? I went and got a gun. Well, mm-hmm. yeah. They're not going to let you use it. There's yeah. fucking cops here for you, dipshit. Yeah. He was like, dead what the already. fuck? Like, you know? He was dead before you even got to your house. Yeah, but by, before you even got to get the gun, like, he was dead. Like, you know what I mean? Everything was over. But you wanted to seem like you were cool and I'm going to help people by fucking getting the gun. No, you're not. You know what I mean? You want to help people drag some motherfuckers away. Get them yeah. the fuck out. Help, you know, escort people. Go this way. There's fucking there's people shooting that way. Don't yeah. fuck. Oh, I'm going to get a fucking gun yeah. and come back. They said there was some young black kid that was, like, saved. 
like a shit ton, like fifty people by leading them fucking. Yeah, that's the thing. That's what you do. And dragging people and shit. Yeah, like that's what, like like especially cause, like with my job, I had to deal with a lot of like we do a lot of active shooter trainings, uh-huh. like how to respond to active shooters and all that shit. Yeah. And like that's like the, that's one of the biggest things is either you lock yourself in a room, you like you get as many people as you can, lock yourselves in a room and barricade the doors. You're right. You don't open the doors unless you know you, you're positive as a cop or you know that everything's done. Yeah. Or you help people get to safety. You get the fuck out. Mm-hmm. That's it. You don't do anything else. You know. It's like only and then like the the, the only people that are, are uh, you know are supposed to respond that can actually do, like even security guards. Like okay, if you're a security guard but you don't have a gun, uh-huh. it says hide. Yeah. Get the fuck out of there. <laughs> hide, hide your ass. Like hide and, and like don't come out. Like you you know help people and get them get them secure. But you know uh, if it comes down to it, you get the fuck out of there too. You know, yeah. the only only armed officers or police are supposed to go after this fucking guy. And that's the thing too, is like and you gotta look at it as like, you know, cops aren't carrying well, like most cops, like if they're if they're responding to something like that, they got their pistols, they got their sidearms, they're not carrying fucking rifles or yeah. you know what I mean? Um, but that's why if you notice I, that's one of the things I've been noticing too is the uh, I don't know, have you guys seen have you guys seen any motorcycle cops lately? No. They don't carry shotguns anymore. They used to have shotguns on their bikes. Now they got fucking full on AR 15s. I was like, what oh, really? the fuck? Yeah. The last couple of cops I've seen, they had AR 15s on their fucking bikes. I think bikes. a lot of cops have. I mean, but it's like. In the trunk? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of them have. Because no, no, because. in the trunk. But back in the day, they used to have just the shotguns, remember? Like you'd see the shotgun yeah, fucking but now strapped to the middle of the. Yeah, um, the Hollywood shooting. Yeah, ever since then. I still remember when that shit happened. Do you remember that? When was that? That was. Oh, shit. I don't remember. It was early 2000s, wasn't it? No, it might have been the 90s. Yeah, I think it was in the 90s. Right? Yeah, I think you were, you were too young. Um, some dudes robbed a bank in full-on body armor. It's like, like, you know, have like you in GTA. Yeah, yeah. yeah the one that, in GTA where you're a juggernaut and you're, like, robbing the bank. Yeah, that's exactly that. what that is. That's oh, wow. th- Yeah, that's what that was. And it happened, like, and the cops couldn't do shit. The cops didn't have that. They didn't have anything. to. They might have had, like, revolvers. Too. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah <laughs> I think they, they, a lot they of them had. Nine had nine they didn't, yeah, they didn't have. They probably had 9 no, or they didn't have a. Uh, they didn't. No, I think they. I think they might have had revolvers still. Well, no, they might have been transitioning. Yeah. But yeah, we'll, we'll watch a video. They, there's fucking crazy video. Like no, it's, I think after the nineties, right? Then they got nine millimeters. But like in the eighties. No, 80s, I think they, they went to the forty. They, they carry forty still. But they're, they're but they're not the they're not auto. They're uh yeah, they're revolvers. Oh, they're, yeah. Um. But the uh, oh no, they're thirty eight. The cops carry thirty eight. But um. Yeah, there's a video. It's a dude like he's just walking down the street, just lighting like fucking with the with the assault rifle, just brrr, and, and he can see the rounds hitting him, but he's fucking wearing body armor. It's like it's not hitting. It's not you know. Yeah, head to Yeah, head to toe body armor. Yeah, wow. and they uh, still they still eventually died from. No, they, they eventually got fucked up, but yeah. yeah. I mean, you can only kill someone. No, well, the body armor like it only like okay, eventually yeah. like especially you keep, you're just getting shot in the chest. Eventually, the I body armor is gonna, it, it's gonna get weakened. Yeah, doesn't it, I think once it gets shot, doesn't it lose like a shitload of? It's, yeah, because the way Kevlar the, works, the, the, it, yeah, yeah. It, it keeps stretching to catch. Yeah, that's how it works. And yeah, then eventually, so it, it starts. It, yeah, it just takes okay. a lot. Yeah, but it, yeah, it does take damage. And like the thing about it too is like, okay, so if you get shot here, it's still you still have you know padding here, 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 here. It's just like it's, it's like, but the thing is, is that, that's why most cops are trained to go for the chest. You're, well, the way they, they call it the triple tap. You're supposed to do two to the chest, one to the head. Because yeah. if two to the chest, they're wearing body armor, then you go for the head. Yeah. Or you go two to the chest and one to the groin. Which is fucking insanely more brutal, I think. Two to the chest, one to the groin? Yeah. Because body armor wouldn't cover. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know that. So, but like, two, cause two to the chest. But if you got body armor, like, fuck you. Like, you're, you're planning on... Oh, yeah, yeah. On dying. That's the thing. Oh, like, that's another thing. That shooting in Huntington Beach. You guys hear about that shit? When? Uh, this was, like, last week. I'm down the street from my work. Um, and, and like my, me and my boss kind of got into it about it because he was saying that the cop was wrong but then we watched another video and he was like oh shit you're right the cop was right because okay it's a cop arguing like, it, it's this like skater kid he's fighting with like the, the third the, the video Kai K-A-I Kai bro fucking so mad oh fucking <laughs> I forgot his name yeah <laughs> didn't that guy die uh, oh no so. he got busted for murder or some shit no, that he killed. Oh yeah, that he killed a guy with the he, like. I think that he woke up and the dude was trying to like fuck him. Or oh yeah, you're right. Okay, yeah, no, he didn't get. Yeah, <laughs> some the, shit like that. Do you, okay, do you remember when we talked about Kai? <laughs> no. You don't remember that? Okay, this was there was like uh, I forgot how we brought him home because he he saved somebody. 
Because there was like this dude, he was going all crazy and he ran somebody down with a fucking, with, with his, his car. car. Yeah, he was hitchhiking, this guy and the guy ran, that he was hitchhiking with, ran somebody, pinned somebody up against him. Yeah. Okay. He was talking oh, to, and then he like, he grabs a, he grabs, and, like, yeah, they're interviewing hatchet. him. He grabs a hatchet and he goes, he goes, I just hit him. He goes, smash, smash, yeah. smash. <laughs> like this is the interview. Oh, that's what he said? He was yeah. saying smash, smash, smash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he hit him in the head with a hatchet. He's like, he's a crazy hippie kid. Uh-huh. And then, like, later on, <laughs> like, there was, like, that kid, like, he killed somebody, but yeah, it was something like that. So, like, he woke up and somebody was trying to fuck him. Like, like he, I guess, because he, like, yeah, he literally does, he just him, hitchhikes. Yeah, the guy let him sleep at his house for a couple of days. And uh-huh. he said that that fool drugged him or something. Yeah, and he woke up and, and he, he woke up him. and that fool was, like, I think he was fucking up. I think he was, yeah. He was, like, he woke up and he was getting fucked and that he, like, killed him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the dude was behind him like. <laughs> so I don't know if he's in jail or not. Or if, yeah, I think you think he's probably out by now. Yeah, he'd probably be out because even if he did like go to jail for it, it'd probably be like manslaughter, or not. No, but, uh, might have been self defense. Mm-hmm. But they could still they could still like you know depending on how they get. Raping you. Good point. I don't know. I don't know how that would work. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, if somebody's raping me, fuck. I'm getting dudes are getting I'm, murdered. Yeah, it depends <laughs> on how he did it. Like if he beat him like immediately to death or whatever. Yeah, like, or if he just waited. If he like knocked like, him right. out and then came back. And, yeah, like, stabbed him. I think yeah, I, I think that's what it is. It, it depends on the situation. Yeah. Like in the heat of the moment, there's you know. But still, how long is the heat of the moment? Yeah, yeah, that, that, no, that's exactly it. That's what I'm saying. It's like okay, in the heat of the moment, like okay, you you wake up and dudes like balls deep in you. You jump out. And like fucking smash him in the head with something, and he dies. Yeah, but okay, but, this... but if you like knock him out, go and get something, chop him to little pieces, then it's like, all right, yeah. yeah but if you just okay, but what if you just got got a knife and came back and just stabbed him a couple times? That's still, I see. That's but again, but how long is that? The moment? The moment? If you, you leave, still be crazy. I think, but no, it, you're still in the house. Like you just go grab something from the kitchen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, but if you leave the situation and then come back you, to it, that's, you could plead temporary insanity. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, yeah. you're crazy at that yeah. point because you're getting raped. Yeah, exactly. You were so drugged and raped. <laughs> yeah, you weren't in your right mind. Yeah, you, could, so yeah, you, you killed him on the drugs. And <laughs> yeah, and then there's drugs um, that he put in me. What about that guy? Then there's some guy that sued. Didn't he, like, oh, what happened? Like, broke into some guy's house, remember? And he, like, hurt his ankle or some shit? Or, no. Like, there was, what happened? I don't know. The, the, the one like, that something I... Something happened, and then the, the guy that was, like, robbing him sued. sued the, 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 one, the one story, I don't know how true this right. one. I know there's a story like that, but I some remember... like that. The one I heard is they were robbing somebody and fell through a skylight and landed on a fucking knife. Like, they found, like, you know, the, uh, the kitchen islands? And they landed <laughs> on a knife, and they fucking sued because, like... Hey, you have a knife laying around in your yeah, kitchen. What the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> Who has <laughs> knives laying around in the kitchen? Some um, shit like that. Yeah. Right? Like no, but the, I think there's an even more ridiculous one. And then, did they? I don't. There's been a lot. There, oh, there was but, another shooting. These headlines. Do they like just mean that this guy's trying to trying to sue them, or does it just mean that he's like? This no, is going usually to court. it means it means that like, this is going to court. The, usually it means they're just trying to sue. Yeah, they might have just they fi- like, like a, they filed they a lawsuit. Filed. Yeah, doesn't mean, it doesn't mean it's gonna go to court. It doesn't yeah. mean it's gonna win, but it's filed against this person. Yeah, um, there was there but was the, the, so you could file any and basically you could file whatever the fuck. Yeah, yeah, you can file a lawsuit. And as long as and as long as you have like grounds to you could to, file it, to file it, then yeah, they'll they'll accept that. it and you'll go to court. They shouldn't. Why? 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 Why do they gotta accept everyone? They're, they. Like if it's not, they don't have to. If have it to, sounds like so fucking out of place, they'll be like, "This, this isn't a." This. No, but that's what they do. They have to go and oh yeah, but they get to it. They have to accept it. Yeah, eventually and then the somebody's like, "Nah." Yeah, it has to go to a judge. And judge <laughs> you know, like, oh, this, is stupid. this is stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah but they, they can. They, I mean, you can I, file I, against anything. I don't know um, you have to hear about it being filed. But okay, so there was a shooting in Huntington Beach where it was a cop wrestling with the skater kid, and the guy, the the cop keeps wrestling and reaching for the guy's for the cop's weapon. Eventually, he steals one of the cops' magazines. <laughs> Imagine if he was smiling while trying to do it. <laughs> but he steals he still one of the cops' magazines. And he gets his gun. No, they're, they're, <laughs> no they're, they're on the floor. Like, like, the cops are talking. the face. Oh, shit. We need to start like that, man. Seriously. That's fucking face. <laughs> Oh, that, was yeah. that, was, that was terrifying. I know, dude. That would be terrifying. <laughs> smiling just at you smiling, like that? Yeah, just the normal guy smiling at you. Dude, it's a fucking dude in shit. But then, no, these guys were wrestling. It's not like he would like walked over and reach for it. No, I know that. But, but they still, were. But like, still, even if it was wrestling and smiling. Oh yeah, yeah, that's still fucking creepy. But yeah, so uh, he he pulls out one of the cops' mags, and the cop jumps up, backs up, and then just starts and just fire like uh, seven or eight rounds on him. 
kills him. Like, and you see him, like, he fucking guy, and he finally just falls and shit. Yeah. And so my boss was like, But did oh. he shoot him that many times? Well, uh, yeah. Well, the thing about it is, is okay. He's supposed to do two to, two to the chest, one to the head. Well, yeah, that's initially. But the thing about that's it is, initially. <laughs> but after you do that, you could just there's all on, sorts no, of subsections. You could just keep that, unloading. That, yeah. Yeah. No, no, the thing is, is, like, if, if it would have been different if he would have dropped the mag, reloaded, and then fucking unloaded. No, I know that, but still, the eight but like the, kind of in the in the, in the heat know. of the moment, again, it's it's a situation. It's like. The, the, a lot of times uh, when it comes when it comes, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think if I was in that situation, I'd Push. unload the whole clip. Yeah, because yeah. the thing, the, the entire clip, I don't know, dude. Because the way it's like three shots. Deuce, the, deuce. the way, the way, the, the no, way. It's, it's, like, it's like it's like every movie when they fucking finally finally get out of the the hand to hand and they fucking shoot it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. You're like, <laughs> yeah, well, you, you're, no, but does he hit them all eight times? Or did he I think he does. I think he hits that's them. That's what I'm saying. Like, no, he hits them all eight times. They, 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 were like, pretty, they were pretty close. They, they were maybe from here to the fence. You know, he, yeah. he, he, if he hit them all eight times, it's really fucking yeah. like. They were like, you, like, like he even keeps I mean, you shooting gotta, after the clip's empty. You just hear the clicks like be, fucking fifteen times. I mean, you, you got to kind of be shooting. well trained to hit a guy eight times. Well, they were they were probably like a moving six, target. six to ten feet away from each other. <laughs> still, still a moving target. No, he like he kind of wasn't like he jumped up and like because the way it happened, the cop the cop like jumped back and just kind of fired like just fired like directly because the guy was like directly in front of him. Yeah. So, and the guy was just kind of like, I guess, like twitching away. So, twitching away, yeah. but smiling. No, so, but so, but <laughs> still smiling, still smiling <laughs> the, the whole time. <laughs> that but, would be so creepy. Oh, they bring him But there was a. Uh, he the, dies. He finally gets on the guard. He's like, he dies with a smile. Just, uh, with a smile. <laughs> just looking up at you. <laughs> But I uh, never breaking that content. <laughs> there was a the the other video because the first video they showed me just stuck with them wrestling on the floor. Yeah. There's another video where they like they're in front. Of, it's in front of the 7-Eleven. They're like and the cops telling them back up, back up. You know, let me see your hands. And the guy's just rushing at him. So yeah. fucking the cop the cop tases him, hits him in the chest with the taser. The guy keeps coming and fucking punches the cop in the head. I was like, oh, I would have shot that motherfucker too. Yeah. You know after, what I mean? Even after the taser didn't work, right? Yeah. Then you just shoot him. If the ta- yeah taser isn't effective, fuck that. I'm shooting. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? But like okay, was he then, a big guy? No, nah, he was a skinny kid. Oh, damn, how did the taser not affect? Sometimes, oh, you know what? Like because some, sometimes, it's, yeah, either because he's so skinny that it's just bone. Yeah, so right. like all the water no content. Because <laughs> <no water. laughs> no, uh, dehydrated. Um, he could have been on drugs. Dehydrate like, yourself before like, uh, you get. I think they say when you're on PCP, you don't feel it. You won't feel the taser. What about if you're on meth? I don't know about meth. I know PCP. They say. But uh, but the other times too, sometimes depending on what he's wearing, like say one taser would have went in, one one uh, dart would have went in. Maybe the other one got stuck in his clothes, so it wasn't. So there's like, no. Uh, there's current. no contact. Uh, it's not. A, it's not a complete yeah. circuit. So that's. The, so the know, target or the taser fails. Mm-hmm. It could have. Not the other way. And you have one shot with the taser. Oh, no, you yeah, take it off. It's right? a cartridge. Yeah, but it's, it's like it's, it's like you it's not something you really do here in the moment. That, that no, is, I know that. Yeah, it's not something you could do in combat. Yeah, it's not yeah, like yeah. you can do a combat yeah. reload of a fucking taser. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. Um, I know that. Yeah, but so that's why the cop. And I was like, yeah, the cop was completely justified in that one. There was another one that I was talking about <coughs> with somebody. I saw a video. It was like they were doing an interview. Like this lady, someone broke into her house. Someone, this, her house had been broken into a couple times already. And uh, <laughs> so this lady came home. She had security cameras. This lady came home and uh, found somebody in her house, and she shot him and killed him. Right? And the family's like, why did you shoot my kid? Like he broke into my house. And like this, this I swear to God, this was no bullshit. The interview they're interviewing the family members of this kid that got shot, right? Yeah. He was a seventeen-year-old kid, got shot, right? And she, they were like, he was a good kid, you know, he was going to school. He did uh, nothing wrong. Yeah, no, yeah, he never did anything wrong. How else is how else is he supposed to get money for for his school supplies and people. clothes? <laughs> school supplies. He's like, wait, wait. He has to rob people. Yeah. You're a horrible person for killing the man who robs. How yeah. old was he? He was seventeen. Isn't it their responsibility to right. pay for the school yeah. supplies and clothes? And he's like, yeah, how are these supposed to get his yeah. clothes? You know, he probably told them, like, you gotta go rob everyone. Was, and he, then, was he a black? He was a black guy. <laughs> but it was like, what the fuck? You don't, so, like, wait, I, wait, wait. I get it, I get it. It's a family a member that got killed. Like, I'd be pissed if wait, someone wait, killed wait. You know what I mean? He was. You're saying he was black. <laughs> yeah, he was a black kid. Um, like, okay, like, if J-Roll got a shot robbing somebody. An old I'd be lady like, specifically. Yeah, it was, yeah, an old white lady. I'd be like, fuck, <laughs> that's fucked up. Why did she shoot him? But like yeah, she, he was like, broke okay, into her, her house. Say, like that's say, still fucked up. But yeah, I mean, look at it. I mean, like, okay, yeah. you, okay, let's say that. somebody the size of, uh, let's say, like a Ariana Grande, 
is robbing like Shaquille O'Neal and okay, shoots yeah. her, then you're like, come on, dude, you didn't even shoot her. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> you could have like slapped her and knocked her out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, but if like okay, if if somebody big is robbing some old lady, that's their only option. Yeah, just shoot. yeah. I mean, it's or, an old I mean, lady. I mean, she doesn't know this kid. She doesn't yeah. know what the fuck he's gonna do. Um, yeah, shoot that yeah, you shoot that motherfucker. Like I guarantee you, if if someone broke into those people's house and they had a gun, they shoot the motherfucker. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I don't know. Maybe they're fucking badass blanky over there. The fuck you doing in my house? <laughs> just slap them around. Oh, that, that, that's the other thing too. Is, uh, with that, with the Vegas shooting, real quick, because it reminded me of the cameras. They were saying, like, they, apparently, he had like thirty-two suitcases in his fucking apartment or in his hotel room. Yeah. And then everyone was like, "Oh, well, why didn't the cameras see him taking thirty-two uh, uh, cases to his fucking room?" Because he probably didn't bring them up to his room. Yeah, all he all. probably didn't bring them all at once. But the other thing is too is yeah. most people don't realize most of those cameras aren't continually monitored. Most mm-hmm. places, like, like same, like. Yeah, they're they main, they're mainly track. for playback. Like, yeah, that's like, what it, for. like if something happens, and they 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 could, they could probably go back to those cameras and, and be so like, like, oh, oh look, at, he's bringing yeah, all these he's bringing all these suitcases. But there's there's not someone watching, and even if there is someone watching the cameras, yeah, there's always like watching there's like twenty monitor. different screens. Yeah, and they can't catch every single one of them. Yeah. yeah, so it's like yeah, it's like you can't you can't be mad at that shit. But uh, they can play it back, right? Yeah, they can but play it back. Where's the playback? I don't know. And the, the, the other thing too is a lot of those cameras. How come how come Fox didn't grab the playback? Here he is seen. Going and grabbing multiple bags, or not going, but like mm-hmm. here he is again with a bag. Or here he is again with a bag. But see, not the mm-hmm. but think about it like this. We though. don't know if it's the same bag, but he's always got a bag. That's right? the thing. That's <laughs> Does the thing. He always like, have a bag <laughs> every camera. Yeah, because yeah, like, 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 like okay, the people at the hotel is like okay, well he has a bag. Maybe he just you know it's the same bag. It's the same but, bag. Okay, but but no, knowing what we know now. And if you see the footage of him always with the bag, yeah, then, then you okay. know for a fact that he has he must have been. Carrying yeah, more shit in, yeah. Yeah, like when he first in checked in, he probably had like four, maybe four at the most. Yeah, he had four or five weird. bags. Yeah, and then he, they brought him, and the bellhop brings him up. And yeah. then, but then after that, like he always has another bag with him, or he might have one or yeah. two bags with him, you know what I mean? But like yeah. that's not really going to look this. Maybe he bought shit and he bought some, you know. Yeah, maybe, maybe he leaves with empty bags. Yeah. And then he goes out, he comes back with full bags. Yeah. He fills the bag with trash, so it looks full when he goes down and fills the bag and then comes back. No, but I don't know. I don't know why we're still talking about this. Thing. But, yeah, uh, anyway. this is Peter, um, Peter wanted to get back on it. I don't know, man. It's a fucking situation. It's fishy to me, though. Yeah. It is kind of sounds so fishy. I mean, no, I mean, and the, see, and, and the conspiracy, like, or one of the conspiracies I heard was that guy was from the CIA or whatever, and that and they were setting up the steam, and that it went wrong, and he got killed, and that it was well, supposedly he heard that he was also he was trying to hit, do a Lollapalooza. He was trying to hit a Lollapalooza, and apparently what happened was he made the he made the the reservations, um, but like they were like, oh, we can't guarantee uh, concert view because like, well, he wanted like I guess it's lakeside view or whatever. Because he was going to shoot a Lollapalooza. Because he wanted to shoot a Lollapalooza, but like he made a big deal like, oh, if you guys can't guarantee me, with like he made a big deal, then like he never showed up. Yeah. And then I like, got uh, there was another concert that he uh, that he. Wanted to, I guess he was planning to shoot up. Yeah. It was like, um, I forgot, someone, it's I so guess. It's weird though that, like, it's, it's so weird. Yeah, that he just wanted to shoot up a concert? Yeah. Then he ended up shooting the, it was a Harvest? Harvest Festival? Is that what it was? Yeah. It was like a country music. Country music. Mm-hmm. Have you seen the? Have you seen that one dude? I, I, I put, I, I saw, uh, I thought, I, I music is terrible. Have you seen the video of the one guy? Like, everyone's ducking is one dude in a black tank top. He's got a beer in one hand. He's just in there flipping up, flipping off the fucking thing, drinking his beer. Like, everyone else is fucking ducking around him. And this dude's just, like, drinking fucking, a beer, drinking a beer. Like, like, he's just, get shot? Like, nah, he didn't. He, like, you see him, he's <laughs> he like... Survived. He survived! Well, you see him, he's like... You can tell he's fucking... He's got that drunk white dude guy where yeah. he's kind of, like... He's got his feet, like, wide apart. And he's almost kind of a fighting stance, yeah, but not he, really. He's giving himself a base so he can yeah. wobble around. And he, and still, like, he, he's kind so of he like, doesn't fall when he yeah. gets shot. Yeah, and he's, just, <laughs> like, he's got the beer in one hand. He got the, he's got the tall cat in one hand. And he, like, he takes a sip of it and he's just, like, fucking flipping off the fucking... Where the, where the gunshots are coming from. Yeah. This shit's fucking hilarious. And everyone's like, get the fuck down. Get, like, fuck that. <laughs> That's <laughs> Flipping crazy. up the dude. I saw, this, I saw this thing, it was like that real men of, are real American heroes. <laughs> it's like, Bud Light salutes you, Mr. That really happens? <laughs> yeah. There's a, it's a video. Like, I remember watching the video. I was like, look at this motherfucker. He's just flipping him off. And then like later on, I saw the thing. It's like, real men of genius. Like, Bud Light presents. Do you remember those commercials? Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> the dude probably was like, 
Because they saw that fool and he was like, this motherfucker, I, I can't kill this. I can't kill that guy. <laughs> it was like, you don't need someone to hold your beard. It was like, <laughs> like that shit was crazy. Um, but yeah, again. That's, that's fucking pretty horrible. I don't know what drives people yeah. to, do, to do that. That's the thing, is like, what kind of motivation does this guy have? You know what I mean? Like, what happens to... What I don't know, that seems kind of suspicious, though, that you're asking for a view of a, of, of a concert just yeah. from, uh, from a hotel. <laughs> yeah. Like, why, from a Vegas hotel, they don't even have, like, balconies, don't they? Because huh. people, like, used to jump yeah. off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, you lose but, uh, a bunch of fucking money. But the thing is, this guy was a high roller in Vegas. Like, he would, I mm-hmm. guess he was always gambling and always winning. Yeah, I remember hearing that he's, like, always in Vegas, but... So like, like so for for and the food was wealthy and he was old. Yeah. Like they're like why? Maybe that food had like a tumor, a brain tumor. Maybe. When was the last time he went to the doctor? Where do we do we get to see his medical? Can we records? get an autopsy? Yeah, his medical. Yeah. Don't we get to see his medical records? Doesn't that become public? Uh, I don't think so. Well, not put not. Uh, it should. I mean, after not the right job. now. They, the doesn't like a coroner after the to... investigation, right? Yeah, that's been an investigation. They go, they well, what gets released? Like, who decides what gets released and what doesn't? Uh, the cops. That's public. Public. That's public. Uh, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Public knowledge. Public domain. Yeah. Shouldn't everything be public domain? Everything that the government In does? In theory, yeah. Shouldn't, but... every, shouldn't literally everything? Almost everything? Well, that Like, means... I mean, there, of course there should be top secret shit mm-hmm. when it comes to, like, fucking international affairs and stuff like that, you know? Mm-hmm. But as far as yeah. domestic shit, like, shouldn't it, most of it all be public domain? Yeah, and, I mean, again, in theory. Um, but for whatever <laughs> reason, it's not. And yeah. We'll never know. So Until, that, like, 20 years later, and they're like, yeah, hey, we don't care about this anymore. You can, you can know about it. Yeah. Yeah, you know, we just don't care after it. It's just so much bad shit that goes on. Mm-hmm. You're just like, man, this, that was, like, two horrible events ago. I just like yeah. after <laughs> yeah right <laughs> too, hor- too horrible for that that was two school shootings and a fucking and a protest ago yeah, yeah a couple like, bombings ago yeah like, like 9-11 have... isn't even talked about anymore it's mm-hmm. just it's all about Sandy Hook and now this and this is and before this it was at that protest where the, the dude ran people over and shit mm-hmm. Ariana Grande yeah the theater the, the... well the Ariana Grande concert what else happened? There was something the, the Batman uh, premiere shooting. Dark Knight. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, Dark that Knight, one. But yeah. there was something. Uh, wasn't there another uh, music shooting in Canada or in France or something? Not that I know. Like I thought that like was Iron Man. No, something else happened. There. No, it was before that. It was before that. It was a concert. <coughs> it was like a metal concert or some shit like that. Um. And then yeah. I mean, fucking concerts aren't safe anymore. You know, there was this actor right now, I well, guess... Well, I mean, how safe were they to begin with? Yeah, good mm-hmm. point. Not very safe. Yeah. That's Wait, why but... I like small shows, man. I prefer a nice small show, like that two fucking concert that I went to in San Bernardino, dude. There's too many people. Just way too many people. <laughs> and then there was, like, helicopters and shit. Like, what's going on? Is there fucking bombers over there? Like, what are they searching for? Terrorists? <laughs> That's a fucked up thing now. See, I mean, that's where... That's, that's where you got your yeah. head goes, man. Yeah. Like, you and now, now, definitely. Now, so how, for sure. What, what am I going to do? Something goes crazy. And what exactly is going to go on? Mm-hmm. It could be bombers. It could be a shooter. What if the person's right next to me? Yeah, what if they're at this entrance? What if they're at that entrance? Hey, what was that? What, how, what was that time you went to an AMC? Uh, last week. Okay, have you seen the, 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 the warning they give you before everything? If you see someone suspicious, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, exit and get far away from the building before every before every movie now. Yeah, that's, that, that's been there since the, oh, yeah, the still, Dark Knight Rises. Yeah, I know. But still, it's like one of those things where it's like, it becomes part of society now. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, you should always be aware of shit like that. But, I don't know. How many shootings have been in Texas where it's just legal? Uh, Not many. Concealed carry. Not many. Because you just assume everybody has a gun. Yeah, it's a Wild West. They don't fuck around with it. So there's less shootings 
Yeah, so everybody has a gun. And, see, and that's, that's, that's the argument against gun control. Because, like, if okay, if they ban guns, the only people that are going to have guns... I know, they're going to get it either them. way. Yeah, the people that really want guns are going to get guns. Yeah, like every gun that the guy in the Las Vegas shooting, they were all illegal. Mm-hmm. None of them were legal. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. None yeah. of them were legal. They are all against the law, obtained illegally. Yeah. So you, you ban gun control, then the people who can have guns to protect yourselves... Can't have won't guns. have them, and, and the people who are getting them illegally are still getting them illegally, and how, doing the same shit. How many guns did they say he had? Didn't they say he had like 40, 40 rifles? Forty two. Why does he have that many? He doesn't really need that many. Yeah, that sounds more like to me. It does seem like it's kind of a sale, right? Like he was going to sell these guns. Mm-hmm. You thought he was a collector, or what he's if that fucking... was demonstrating? Like, there was another guy in that room, and he was demonstrating what these guns could do. But then you don't you have a sale, because you just fuck your whole sale up by shooting everybody. Well, see, no, the other Like, in GTA, can... it was like, mission fail. <laughs> when do you get the one level up? Oh, yeah, right? When you get to a certain point? Mission fail. The, the, one, the other thing was that... Um... You gotta kill yourself. Oh, really quick, you know what, let's, let's change the subject. Man, real quick, I, was, I just I was, devoured our whole show. Yeah, no, was, yeah, real quick, okay. <laughs> Video games. Have you seen the new It? Yeah, yes. I don't know. No, I haven't. You haven't I'm seen it? Into it. I you liked it. it. You liked it? I liked it. I heard it was just like uh, uh, Stranger Things. It was like brutal Stranger Things. It was like fucking, like, the, the one, the only criticism I had of, the, of it is, is the fucking opening, like when they killed Georgie. Like, that was brutal as shit. I think that's because they have a kid. They rip his arm off, right? They rip his arm off. Mm-hmm. Like, in the book, he gets his arm ripped off as well. Mm-hmm. And, like, like, but, like, it was brutal as shit. Like, you see him, like, because Pennywise rips his arm off, and then, like, he, like, he, like, falls away from the drain and is, like, trying to crawl away with his one arm, and he's crying in a puddle of blood. It's fucked up. Like, dude, it got me. Like, it, like, but then again, it's like, I have a kid. Like, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So that, like, got me. The rest of the movie is fucking, like, I loved it. Mm-hmm. It was fucking amazing. Um, that sounds like the, the the reason why I would watch it. <laughs> oh yeah, see, that's the thing. Is like to me, like there's certain like uh, I, there was a meme I, I saw <laughs> recently. It was like watching movies as uh, as uh, just as, as a single person. It was like, oh, this movie's fucking awesome. Like watching movies as a parent. <gasps> oh fuck, man! <laughs> like, it's just, like shit affects you differently because you like you put you yourself. Relate. That. You relate. No, I still I cry in fucking yeah. movies. No, but like, like certain certain like that that scene with George, oh. like that shit hurt me. Like I was like, oh fuck, like. Cause I could have, I couldn't imagine shit like that, you know. But, yeah. so, but, it's a, it's but like some people don't have a sense of like empathy or at empathy. all. Yeah, like no, but like some they people can't, they can't put themselves in their shoes. No, but it's... to feel like the loss that somebody has in a movie. Yeah. So then they'll no, be like, just, you don't. This is good. This is awesome. This is no, a great you movie. You just don't like, suspend your uh, disbelief. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, no. See, you, it's just art. Like it's just yeah. a, a movie. It's not really happening. You just something to. Yeah, but Kinda, you this, know that it's of invoking these emotions, but like that's why it's like, oh, yeah. Cool. yeah. <laughs> there, there's certain things like, because like th- that's the thing too. Is I read the book a long. I think I read it in high school. And I don't think I finished it because I'm reading it again now, and I there's a lot remember. of shit I don't remember. You know what I mean? And like the book jumps back and forth a lot, but there's a lot of shit I don't remember. Uh, but but I think this one took more from the book. I think like there's obviously there's certain things from the movie from the original TV made for TV. Yeah, movie. I heard the movie was more true to this the movie book was more true to the, the book. Yes, the short series. Was. Yeah, because well the other thing you got to look at too is the short series was made for TV. Yeah, you know what I mean. So this one as a film, it's a little bit better because this one was made for to be on be in theaters. And then we got like seven, six minutes. Yeah, we got six we, we yeah we got yeah six minutes six and a half minutes we're good, um, but this one was made for theaters where the other theaters? one it was made for TV theaters theaters so they, there was something theaters. they could do something they couldn't do. I'm curious to see what they're gonna do for the adult side. What are you talking about? Because I zoned out. It. Are you still talking about it? Yeah. Because like the kids, the kid movie, the kid part of the movie. That's even if you watch the original one, mm-hmm. that's the best part of the movie. Is mm-hmm. that when it's the kids, you know what I mean? When they're adults, the whole like. To me, the worst part, like, which in the book is a good scene, but in the TV movie, it's like fucking them all introduced, like, oh, this is what we've been up to. It's like, fuck, nobody cares. Like, like okay. Hmm. Like, I understand we have to figure out who you are, but they do it so boring. And then, like, once they go after Pennywise, then it gets a little bit better. And the book is way better. But, so I'm curious to see how they're gonna, how they're gonna do it. Mm-hmm. They go after Pennywise? Like, they fight him? Yeah, they go after him. They kill him again. Mm-hmm. Spoiler alert. 
<laughs> is that what they're gonna do number two? Yeah, because the the next one is coming out. What? Twenty eighteen. Twenty nineteen. Twenty nineteen. October twenty nineteen. When the next one's coming out. So I mean, the most successful movie of all time. Okay? Yeah. The I want. I actually want to go see so it. Far. You haven't seen it yet. We should go see it. I don't know. Let's go watch it right now. I'm done. I'll wait for it to come. Because I don't know how I feel about it. Well, you gotta watch it. It's, I don't know how I feel about it. I think it's worth it. I'll watch it, but I'll do you want it Tuesday? Coming. Yeah. Yeah. I'll wait for it to come out. Because uh, Tuesdays is five dollars at AMC's. I'll wait for it to come out. All when right. It comes out in uh, or whatever, because they're probably fine. All right. Um, oh shit! No, we still got another. I have another five minutes. Um, but I, I liked it. Oh, I, I would. Fights. I would give it some fights, bro. There's some fights on tonight. Uh, who's fighting again? It's a uh, uh, Kukui. Kevin Lee. Kevin Lee, yeah. <laughs> one, of my, one of my co-workers kept calling him Jason Lee. I was like, that's not right, Jason. Jason Lee. Who's Jason Lee? That's, that's, from, that's uh, fucking uh, Earl. Earl yeah. <laughs> what happened to Jason Lee? That's Brody Reed? from Clerks. What happened to Jason Lee? I don't know. He, had, he just fell off the map. No, he, I, know he, I know he directed something on his own. Yeah, but he's not doing any roles he's not, Yeah, he's not doing any roles now. Oh, he might be in... Uh, he's going to be in uh, Mallrats, the series. They're making a series? They're making a series. They were going to make a sequel, but now they're making a series. He was Brody in Mallrats. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm, a, I'm all for that. I love Mallrats. Yeah, Mallrats is funny. But I don't know if it's the same. It's going to be... Is it still going to be in the 80s? Gonna mm, no, it's going to be... He, he's an adult, and now it's like his kid. Uh, Kevin Smith's daughter is going to play Brody's daughter. And she's uh, Banner Bruce. So you're following the kids, nice. kind of? Yeah. It's not even the characters. Really. Yeah, well, I mean, they're also going to be there. They're adults. They're all signed in to do it, but... They're, but they're just adults. Yeah. And it's going to be like... like there's going to be a comic... It's, it's Die Hard in a Mall, pretty much. It's going to be a Comic Con. And like some terrorists are gonna come and bust it up, and then like. But that's a, the series based on that. Yeah, or, well, I don't know. That's what the movie was supposed to be, and I think they're gonna make the series but based on that. Make a whole series based on just like one mall shooting. Or so with all these shootings, man. I don't know. Fucking shootings. It's almost like they're trying to say something, right? That's what the shootings. I think on that note, let's go and wrap it up. We got two minutes left. Um, don't forget to follow us on Twitter's at Real Press Start. Shootings. <laughs> Um, I think Hashtag too much shootings. That's the name of the episode. Hashtag too much shootings. Uh, on Facebook at real at, at the real press start, and I promise the website will be up soon, eventually. We've been promising that for like. Hashtag shooter lives matter. <laughs> shooter lives matter. Shooter lives do not matter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a very bad hashtag. Yeah. <laughs> and on that note, game over. What are you talking about? No more questions.